Section 3 Vault Personnel General The key to a successful reintroduction of civilization following a massive scale nuclear war is people. Here at Vault Tech, we are working to ensure that your fellow man and woman is up to the task of bringing America back from the dead. The characters are people in the game world. A player character represents you in the game world. We will sometimes refer to a player character as personnel. The terms personnel and player character are interchangeable. Other types of characters are called non-player characters, NPCs, so that you won't confuse them with you. NPCs can be other vault dwellers, people from the outside world, or even mutants. Standard Personnel Records Fallout comes equipped with three pre-made characters for your use and enjoyment. These personnel are prepared for most conditions in the outside world. Max Figure 3-1 Max Stone VID 20819788125 Stone to his friends, Maxwell is the largest person currently living in the vault. He is known for his physical strength and stamina, he would make the ideal volunteer due to his tremendous size and strength. It is unfortunate that his intelligence was affected after birth when the labor bot dropped him on his head. He doesn't care that he might have to leave the vault. Natalia Figure 3-2 Natalia Dubrovsky VID 20820649229 Natalia is the grandchild of a Russian diplomat who worked at the Soviet consulate in Los Angeles. She is a talented acrobat with excellent coordination and reflexes. She is extremely intelligent and resourceful. Her only difficulty as a young child was understanding personal property laws. Natalia is very interested in leaving the vault and curious to explore the outside world. Albert Figure 3-3 Albert Cole VID 20820649227 Albert is a charismatic leader of a small vocal minority of the vault population that is considering life on the outside world. Dedicated to the role of a negotiator, he is often able to communicate efficiently between different parties. His professed occupation is closest to what was once known as a lawyer. Albert is often able to convince others that his ideas are correct. We appreciate the fact that you are reading the Vault Dweller Survival Guide, but would prefer that you use the Fallout interface, so we have implemented a special way of viewing these personnel. From the character selection screen, select Modify. You can now examine these characters in detail, actually changing their statistics. But more importantly, you can view every item in their personnel record using the enclosed information card in the lower right hand corner. Creating a new personnel record For maximum enjoyment, a character creation system has been implemented. This will allow you to make a character of your own choice. The following instructions will guide you through the character creation process. Figure 3-4 The Character Creation Screen Your character is a representative of you in the game world. Your character will follow your commands and perform actions as you require. It is up to you to make the character that best suits you and suits your style of play. Fortunately, with the Fallout Survival Kit, your happiness is assured. vault Tech guarantees it. We will often refer to you and your character as the same person. That is the beauty of a role-playing game. You are your character. Your actions as the player will control the actions and consequences of the little character on the screen. Obviously, we don't condone some of the actions performed in the game world as appropriate or even legal actions in the real world. Don't confuse the two. Characters are defined by various statistics and skills. During the character creation stage, you will adjust the primary statistics and in turn, the statistics will determine your skills. If you want to see what a particular statistic or skill does, click on the item name with your mouse pointer, and the card in the lower right-hand corner of the screen will display the pertinent information. Guarantee not available in all states or after any of the following. Flooding, drought, famine, nuclear war, or other acts of God. Figure 3-5 The information on this card will help answer any questions you may have. 
It's an important resource that you should pay attention to. To make your own character, do the following. 1. Spend character points on statistics. See page 3, 5. 2. Select three tag skills. See page 3, 10. 3. Choose up to two traits. See page 3, 14. 4. Select your age. See page 3, 17. 5. Select your sex. See page 3, 17. 6. Name your character. See page 3, 17. 7. Optional. If necessary, select any options. See page 3, 18. 8. Congratulations! Your character is finished. Press Done to continue. Always test the air for radiologicals and viruses. A containment suit is your best friend. Step number one. Spend character points on statistics. All characters have seven primary statistics. Strength. Raw physical strength. The ability to lift weights, have stronger punches, carry more equipment and use larger weapons. Stronger characters will be able to lug around more items, do more damage in combat, and so on. If you want to play a big physical character, choose a high strength. Perception. The ability to notice things. A combination of your senses, including touch, sight, taste, smell, and hearing. Perception affects your ranged weapon distances, small details that you have a chance to notice, and other sense-related tasks. Perceptive characters will get more information about the world. If you want to play a character that can shoot guns at targets really far away, buy up your perception. Endurance. The ability to withstand punishment and physical exertion. A high endurance will let you survive and carry on where other, weaker people would have to stop. It affects your hit points and your resistances. A character with high endurance will be able to fight longer and less likely to die in combat. Charisma. A combination of looks and charm. The higher your charisma, the better you are able to communicate with other people. Highly charismatic characters are more likely to be able to get their way without resorting to violence and to be able to get better deals in trading. Characters who like to talk to people should buy up their charisma. Intelligence. Your mental strength and abilities. The higher your intelligence, the more skills you will excel in, and the more options you will have in dialogue. A high intelligence is important to any character. Characters who want lots of choices in dialogue should pick a higher intelligence statistic. Agility. Your speed and dexterity. Physical manipulation ability. Your agility will affect many skills requiring fine coordination. It will also adjust many combat-related statistics. Agility is important to any type of character. Combat and thief characters should have a higher agility than diplomatic or scientific characters. Luck. Luck is the odd statistic. It is a combination of fate, karma, and, in general, how the universe views you. Luck will modify many things. All your characters will benefit from a high luck and will suffer a little more with a lower luck. All primary statistics have a value. The values range from 1, the lowest, to 10, the highest, and 5 is average. All characters start with average values in all statistics. Fortunately, you get 5 character points to spend on your statistics to improve them. You can spend 1 character point on any 5 statistics, put all character points into one statistic, or any combination you wish. Figure 3-6, the location of the primary statistics on the character screen. If you want more character points, you can reduce a statistic below 5, gaining one character point for every point you lower the statistic. No statistic can drop below 1. You can lower any statistic or combination of statistics. Your friends at vault -Tec do not suggest lowering any statistic below 4, but the option is there for you. If you lower your intelligence below 4, for example, your dialogue will be severely restricted. See page 4, 29. You must, however, spend all your character points before you complete your character. When you change your primary statistics, notice that your derived statistics and skills change. 
The derived statistics and skills are based in part on the values of the primary statistics. You cannot adjust them directly. See Tag Skills, page 310. If you want more hit points, you will have to spend more character points on endurance. Your statistics define you. If you have a high strength, high agility, low intelligence, and low charisma, you are most likely not going to impress someone with your savior fare at a dance. But that table you're about to drop on their head will get their attention. Your statistics will generally not improve directly through experience or gameplay. You should plan on seeing the same statistics throughout the course of your adventures and plan accordingly. Derived Statistics In order to make the best possible decision regarding your character choice, we have developed an easy-to-use method of determining your derived statistics. We call this method the Look It Up Below method, and we think it works pretty darn well. Hit Points Your hit points determine how much damage you can take before you succumb to a long dirt nap. The more hit points you have, the longer you can survive outside. The less hit points you have, the more healing you will need to do. The number of hit points you have will grow when your character earns experience and advances in levels. The number of hit points are displayed as current over maximum. If you ever get to 1 over 30 hit points, for example, you need some serious medical attention. And soon, brother. Starting hit points are equal to 15 plus 2 times endurance plus strength. Average characters will have 30 hit points. Armor Class Your natural armor class is how good you are at avoiding being hit in combat. The higher your armor class statistic, the worse your opponent's to hit number. Your natural armor class may be augmented and improved by wearing armor, see Armor, page 512, and the sample armors in the Equipment list, page 515, for more information about armor and armor class. Starting armor class is equal to your agility. Average characters will have an armor class of 5. Action Points The number of action points your character has will determine how many different actions you can take during a combat turn. Every action will have a different action point cost, which is subtracted from your total action points. When you run out of action points, you cannot perform another maneuver until the next combat turn. Action points are only used during combat. Action points are not cumulative, but instead roll into armor class on a one-for-one -one basis. If you have four action points remaining when you end your combat turn, you will get a plus four bonus to your armor class until the start of your next turn. See Actions in Combat, page 5-2, for more details on action points. Initial Level Starting action points are equal to half agility plus five. Average characters will have seven action points. Carry Weight the total amount of equipment that you can lug around the post-nuclear world is represented by your carry weight. The higher your carry weight, the more equipment you can carry. You can carry a total amount of equipment in pounds equal to your carry weight and no more. Initial level. Starting carry weight is equal to 25 pounds plus your strength times 25 pounds. Average characters will have 150 pounds. Melee Damage your melee damage is the amount of bonus or extra damage you do with unarmed and hand-to-hand -hand weapon damage in combat. Using your fists, a knife, or a sledgehammer in combat would do a basic amount of damage for those weapons plus your melee damage. If you want to do more melee damage, take a higher strength. Initial level. Starting melee damage is equal to strength minus 5 with a minimum of 1 point. Average characters will have a melee damage of 1. Damage Resistance The ability to shrug off some amount of damage in combat is attributed to your damage resistance derived stat. This statistic is a percentage, meaning that it will subtract an amount of damage from every blow based on a percentage of the damage. If your damage resistance is 10% and you take 20 points of damage from a single attack, you will end up taking 18 points of damage after your damage resistance. You will need to equip armor to see your damage resistance increase. Initial level. Starting damage resistance is equal to 0%. Poison resistance. Getting poisoned is an unfortunate possibility that must be taken into account. Fortunately, most people have a hardy poison resistance compared to the small animals that are the usual prey for most poisonous snakes. Poison resistance is a percentage that will reduce the amount of poison damage you take. Initial level. Starting poison resistance is equal to endurance times 5. 
Average characters will have 25% poison resistance. Radiation resistance. Radiation is something that any vault dweller must be concerned with. While it is normal for a small amount of rontgens, or rads, to enter the normal person during the normal year of activity, more of activities include mountain expeditions and or high altitude ballooning, a large amount of rad poisoning is a reason for concern. The average person receives about half to one rad a year. After a nuclear fallout, you would expect more. See Damage, page 512 for more information. With any exposure to radiation, your radiation resistance will reduce the total amount of rads you take by its percentage. It is very similar to damage or poison resistance. Initial Level Starting radiation resistance is equal to your endurance times 2. Average characters will have a 10% radiation resistance. Sequence this statistic will help determine who will go first in combat, and in which order people and critters will get to act. See Combat, page 52 for more information. The higher the sequence value, the more likely you will act before your opponent. Initial Level Starting sequence is equal to your perception times 2. Average characters will have a 10 sequence. Healing Rate People do not heal wounds at the same rate over the same amount of time. Your healing rate will tell you how fast you can bounce back from that near-fatal encounter and continue with your important work of holding off the end of the world. If you have taken damage, you will get a number of hit points back at the end of the day equal to your healing rate. If you rest, you will get a number of hit points back every 6 hours equal to your healing rate. In no case can you get more current hit points than your maximum number of hit points. Initial Level Starting healing rate is equal to a third endurance with a minimum of one. Average characters will have a healing rate of one. Critical chance. Critical hits in combat are special attacks that cause extra damage or some special effect. The chance to cause a critical hit is partially based on this stat. The higher your critical chance, the more likely you are to cause one of these powerful hits. It is expressed in a percentage, adding directly as a bonus to the chance to cause a critical hit. Initial Level Starting critical chance is equal to your luck. Average characters will have a plus 5% critical chance. End of Section 3, Part 1